section we will learn together how to create our various universe as we mentioned before any universe should contain three main resources a data connection a data foundation and a business layer in this lecture we will start by creating a data connection to Oracle database first we need to go here to Odemy projects that we already created right click on Odemy project select new and then select traditional connection as you can see there is two type of connections that we can create relational connection which will connect to a relational database and OLAP connection which we can use to connect to OLAP source for this course we'll use relational connection by setting them almost the same click on relational connection in the resource name type Odemy connection please note that it's very recommended to write the description for each resource that you can you create here I will write the following the description is very useful as other universe designers can read it and notice what this connection for or what this resource for now click on next the second page in this wizard will show you a list of database middleware drivers we can navigate through the drivers by using two views hierarchical list or flat list here I will use hierarchical one as you can see in the hierarchical view you can see the drivers grouped per vendor for example here if I navigate to Oracle I have multiple drivers based on version grouped under Oracle as a vendor you can also use the search bar here to search for a specific middleware driver you can also sort them and you can expand all of them or collapse all of them for this course we'll create an Oracle database connection expand Oracle 11 middleware driver here and select Oracle client please note that some databases allow you to connect using multiple methods for example here for Oracle 11 we can connect using a GDBC driver ODBC driver or Oracle client Oracle client 1 needs an Oracle client to be installed on your machine click next in the third page here we need to enter the parameters for the connection for example username password and service here I will enter username password and service name please note that this service name should be defined in the tennis name file dot aura under oracle client click test, test connection click finish as you can see for any selected resource it will open here in the main menu well, as we have the Odemy connection created I can see a general information about this connection the description and the parameters for this connection I can also edit this connection change the driver or test it again now let's try and create another connection in this time we'll create a connection to Northwind database that we already configured in section number one if you didn't create the ODBC connection for this database I suggest to go and create it in order to follow up with us in the remaining lectures now let's right click here select new and select new relational connection 
list type north wind let's type the description as well okay click next as north wind is ms access database we created an odbc connection here we will we'll select odbc connection under generic list and select odbc data source select the odbc driver then click next here we just need to test our connection as well make sure that it's working fine the connection was tested successfully click on close and click on finish now we created two connections one for a rational database oracle database and the other one for ms access database finally before we close this lecture i want to tell you about this feature here show values by click on here you can navigate the tables stored in this database for example here i will try to select the employees table so we can see the generated SQL statement here that will select all records from the employees table and some sample raw data here from the same table this is a very nice and cool feature that enable you to do analysis on the physical database tables before using it in the data foundation also you can select the distinct value here you may need also to increase the maximum number of rows retrieved here to make it for example 10,000 click refresh and see the distinct value for each field here for example we have four distinct values for city if I click on this I can see the distinct values for city also with the count of each value Seattle here I have four occurrence Redmond three occurrence and so on this is really a very nice tool and we used to do this using SQL clients like Todd or SQL, Serv SQL Server or SQL Plus to do the analysis on the data before we start building our data foundation next we will learn how to create the data foundation on top of these connections